Hey guys, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm Brad M73. Um, let's see, uh, it's been several days since I've had a chance to play. I've been uh, doing the uh, Aliens Colonial Marines, uh, trying to get caught up on uh, uh, Farming Simulator 2013. And uh, so. I'm going to do an uh, episode of uh, Euro Truck for you guys. So thanks for stopping by. Um, really appreciate it. If you're liking the videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Please like them on uh, YouTube. And please subscribe uh, for more. Um, so let's see. Let's get started. Trying to think. I think we left off last time in Dresden. So let's just take a look at the map. Well, we'll look at the jobs first. I think we're in Dresden. And we are. Uh, let's see, Great Britain, Geneva, Switzerland. Let's see, uh, let's see, wait. First of all, I need to start off. All right, here we go. Dresden back down to Munich. We do. We were just there. Dresden up to Ham Hamburg. Let's see, that might take us through. Is that Magdeburg? Yep. Uh, let's see, Elmsbrook. Dresden to Hamburg. Well, let's do kind of a boring load. Uh, oh, Vienna. Let's go down to Vienna. I've not been there in game yet. Um, and it gives us a decent amount of money. All right. So we'll set that as the GPS destination. Oh, so oh, it'll be nice to get back into Eurotruck. Um, I hope I remember how to drive. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of uh, <clears throat> Farming Simulator um, and not really doing episodes, but just trying to get um, uh, some things caught up to get money in that game. Um, and let's see. And then on the Eurotruck 2... Uh, Euro Truck uh, Simulator 2 side, I still have not. Uh, oh, why did I do that? That was silly. Now I am probably not going to have that same job. Please. Yep. Darn it. That darn job is gone. Ugh. Ooh, Tremere, down to Zorzno. Let's go down to Bratislava. We haven't been there, uh, and hopefully I won't hit enter this time. Not sure why, <laughs> why I hit that, but... Oh, well, this is a resting place, but you are not tired right now. Darn straight. I've just been... Uh, taking uh, naps for about the last tw day. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got 145,000 euros. Um, well on our way to upgrading our first garage um, in Frankfurt. Whoa. Come on now. Go, go, go. <clears throat> yeah, so we we're trying to, uh, you know, earn enough money to get... The uh, you know, upgrade our first garage and uh, hire our first driver. So that is what we. That's what is still the plan. That is what our goal is. Hello. Got to be a little bit um, more careful. All right, here we go. All right, so we'll take that job. We could go to Linz, too, for a little bit more, but eh, let's go down to Bratislava. <clears throat> I think it's I think it's one of the easternmost cities in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is, and it's in Slovakia. Never been to Slovakia. Not, neither in game or in real life. Oh, 
All right. And we are on our way. We are on our way. Uh, or not. <laughs> Let's see. We're in, yeah, we're in Dresden. Make a right turn. I think, you know, uh, since the patch, the new 1.3.1 uh, patch has been released, uh, and actually I haven't checked in the last several days to see if maybe there was another patch. Um, seemed like they were having uh, some refinement issues with uh, patch 1.3, so uh, I haven't, again, checked to see if there was a new, uh, new patch, but um, uh, it generally, the game to me, for some reason, seems a little bit less smooth. And I think it might have a lot to do, lot to do with this lighting. Um, I noticed before that um, you know there seemed to be quite a bit of uh, kind of like a high def or, or lower dynamic range, I guess, where uh, you know you you get a lot more uh, blown out images from highlights. Uh, for example, like the clouds. The clouds, it's just like this big shining white blob. And, uh, you know, when the sun reflects off of certain surfaces, um, it's very, um, you know, bright. And the, the entire world kind of seems, especially during the daylight, it kind of seems like you're looking through it through a, you know, like a, like a gel lens or like a glamour lens or something like that uh, for a camera. So... Um, I'd like to see that as being something addressed. Uh, I, I might need, just need to play around with the graphic settings. There might be like a specific setting that would, you know, turn that off. Um, and it didn't seem like the HDR setting uh, was really what, you know, here. Actually, I don't know if it'll kick us all the way out of the game or not, but let's check here. Um, options. Yeah, this HDR setting. Um, apply. And we're still okay. So we're going to just try that again. Yeah, and just the game seems a lot darker. Well, you know, it is actually, it looks like it is going into the evening. Come on. Come on, don't freeze up. Yeah, I mean, it's just there's some weird performance issues. Um, I mean, it, it, they're not really like issues, issues, but, um, you know, just the game just seems to run at a lower frame rate. Uh, right now, it looks like I'm getting around 16 frames a second. And, um, you know, before I was getting, you know, with, with Fraps running about 25 to 30 frames a second, I think. And when I'm not running fraps, I'm usually getting a lot more, like uh, like 40, 50, 60 frames a second. So uh, a little worried about that. Oh, and what did I forget to do is um, I did not uh, I didn't uh, upgrade my engine yet which was one thing I was wanting to do. All right, so we're Tate, we're on our way to um, on our way down to uh, Bratislava. 371 kilometers to go. And I think it'll take us through Prague, possibly a couple other countries as well um 
And again, if you guys have any suggestions on some any specific mods, um, the one I'm really thinking about right now is just the like the real real world brand, brands, real world brands. I I don't know exactly if that's actually what it's called, but um, there's a mod uh, that has things like you know UPS, FedEx, uh, D H or maybe DHL and Aldi and you know real brand names you know that you would see in the real world. So. Um, I might actually look for that and uh, get that installed. Um, you know, I was just kind of waiting on mod compatibility, you know, in, in case there were any issues with different patches and things like that. So, so anyway, that's that's really about it. Looks like we will be driving through the night. Um, And that actually presents its own challenges. Um, I wasn't really sure in case uh, anybody out there was wondering. Um, you can actually turn your brights on, you know, your bright headlights, uh, just by hitting the K button. You know, I'm going to... Oh, yeah. So yeah, you know, if it gets dark and you need to turn your brights on, that's how you do that. And let's see. Did we pa did we already pass the border station over into Oh, we're almost to Prague anyway. Wow, that was fast. I'm sitting there thinking, wait a second, I think we did pass a border station, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we're actually almost to Prague. There's like a big tower off in the distance there. Maybe that's Prague. Praha, I guess. Praha. Maybe that's how they say uh, Prague. Ooh, I see a question mark up ahead. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually go, since I'm here, I'm just going to go pick up the, uh, hello, hello, come on, lag, stop it. There's a Euro goodies place here. And this is just the um, recruitment agency, so we uh, were able to get that. Man, I could wish I could make a left, drive up to the other area. Um, I guess that was a traffic light that luckily was just happened to be green. It's like another garage cell plan. Or not garage, but um, so let's let's take a quick look at the map here. So I think yeah, I think I'm gonna go up here and then I'm gonna go around this way so I can get. It's probably like a, another truck dealer of some sort. You want to make a right turn here. Whoa. Talk about going wide. Okay, here we go.
Actually, I don't know if I've been, I can't remember if I've been to Prague in, you know, in my other profile or not. I did play for um, several days before I started my Let's Play on, uh, on Euro Truck Simulator. So it could have been that I had, uh, you know, played more, but I just, I don't remember specifically. All right, 50 clicks or kilometers an hour. Ah, what was that? Oh, oh, 1% damage. Darn it. <laughs> Probably nothing serious. Okay, so five hours, three minutes left to go. 313 kilometers. And we're coming up to a red light. And I think we just passed a hotel. Bro Broclaw. Is that... I'm not sure what Broclaw is. Well, I mean, I know it's like a city, I think, in Poland. But I don't know. There's another hotel. Maybe there's... Oh, no. That was the gar That was a purchable, purchasable garage back there. All right. Looks like we're coming up on another roundabout, so let's slow down a little bit this time instead of uh, crunching our truck. There we go. That's better. Now, what dealer is that? Is that Renault? Yeah. Okay, so now we should be on to... Um, we should be better on to, uh, uh, where are we going again? Bratislava? I think so. Nuremberg and Vienna. So Vienna was a city that I visited as a child as part of my European trip. We actually had gone from, uh, Frankfurt, uh, to Vienna and then back to Frankfurt and, and made some stops and detours along the way. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. So now it looks like we are on our way to Wien or Vienna. And it is nighttime out. Or almost night. Cruising along at 90 kilometers. And I probably got over and I'm probably going to have to get back. Yeah, I got to get back over again. Yeah, see, I don't... Well, see, I never really traveled in Poland, so I don't know if a lot of the exits are like this in... Or not Poland, but um, the Czech Republic. So I don't know if a lot of these, you know, overpasses are single lane like this or not. Um, again, I mean, I don't really remember, uh, you know, that, you know, having seen those type of overpasses in Germany, maybe once or twice, but not frequently like, uh, in the game here. So anyway, just an observation. Um, let's see, I'm not sure what level we are. I don't know if we're still level nine. Um, I have to go and look. I can't remember if I... I know after the last play, let's see, we went from... I want to say, like, Munich to Dresden, if I'm mist not mistaken. I think we went... Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was Munich to Dresden. And anyway, um, I think after that I might have done some quick missions just to, you know, get some more money and and level up a bit um, and again I that's my fault I apologize for uh, not keeping up with it um, as I should yeah see how much power I'm losing coming up the hill here um, and I need to uh, get to level 10 so that I can uh, upgrade my engine let me just take a look here yeah I'm at level 9 right now so 
want to get up to level 10 so I can upgrade my engine. Get get more horsepowers. All right, 238 kilometers to go. Cruising along now at 100 kilometers an hour, so we're kind of at a, over what our set speed is of 89. Whoop. Now we're going up another hill again. Now we're going down a hill again. Right now it seems like it is getting a little bit darker out. We are uh, losing the twilight, you know, after sunset. And let's blind all oncoming, oncoming drivers. And it is just a game, so... <laughs> Two oh eight. You know, I could do two. Oh, wait a second. I can do it from no. So F three, no. F four. There we go. Turn that up. Alright. Just wanted to turn my dashboard lights up a little bit. And now it's really starting to get pretty dark. Actually, let me turn them up. That's all the way, so let's do that. There we go. All right, so we are trucking along about 95 kilometers an hour. Uh, let's see here. So straight is Vienna. Right two lanes should be straight three lanes. Or the left two lanes, I'm sorry. Or the two lanes should be both straight three lanes the way I'm reading that sign, so we'll find out. <clears throat> and of course they're not. See, that's that's the that's what I don't like about the signage. They need to fix that and get that uh, get it so the signage is correct so that you don't wreck I remember when I was in Vienna, uh, we stayed at this hotel. It was called the El Dorado. And I don't... Oh, my God. Oh. There we go again. Got to slow it down. <laughs> I was trying to slow down, but... Oh, well. Let's see here. Get short messages. Well, at least our load's not damaged. Um, so, yeah, we stayed at a hotel called the El Dorado. And um, it was like this big pyramid, like this big black pyramid. And it would have been, you know, back in the 80s. And, um, yeah, it's a really nice hotel. Um, I, I don't know if it's changed names. Um, I've tried doing searches for it on the Internet and haven't really been successful finding much. Ooh, there is a question mark over there that I would love to go get. But I'm not going to. All right, so let's see. Let's look at the map. Um, okay, so Vienna is like down this way. Okay. Well, maybe when we get to Bratislava, there'll be a short job to Vienna. If we're lucky. 
Um, let's see, I feel like slowing down a little bit. Uh, I don't know if um, the speed limit is lower through here or not. Oh. Well, I guess we have to go this way. <laughs> All right, so we got let's see 118 kilometers to go, and we will uh, we will be there in the middle of the night. Um, let's see how much time do we have? Oh no, sorry, bro. Go pass, hurry. Oh, those are gas stations up there. Okay. I think what I'll do when I get to Bratislava is I will drop off the load, sleep, so that it's daytime, and then we will, yeah, because it's like just after midnight now, and then we'll kind of go explore the town a little bit, um, and then maybe if there is a, um, you know, like a pro shop, maybe we'll look at getting our upgrades done. Oh, you know, actually, no, I think what I'll do is I will wait until the next episode to do the upgrades that would make more sense because then we could directly test them instead of saying hey we upgraded the engine let's see how it performs oh just kidding so um yeah we'll wait i want to do that all in kind of one one episode Eighty kilometers to Bratislava. These are like the old communist style houses. Well, the blocks, I guess, of, of homes or apartments or flats or whatever you want to call them. Now, if anybody's British out there who's watching the episodes, I've always wondered why they, uh, it, and not just in Britain, but all across Europe, you know, in, in in the United States, we call a flat an apartment, and uh, I've just always been curious why they're called flats in other countries. Um, just, you know, curiosity, it's just a difference in cultures, no big deal. But uh, I, I guess, I guess that's what you guys call them: is flats, a flat as a flat. And <laughs> I don't know if they're flat or if they're multi-storied or, <laughs> or if that has anything to do with it at all. Um, but anyway, Forty-one kilometers. We must be coming, getting closer to Bratislava. Ooh, a tunnel. And that's one thing we don't have a whole lot of here in the U.S. is tunnels. Um, Actually, I say that, and there's a very short tunnel in Cincinnati, but it's not really a tunnel. It's more of a underpass that turned into a tunnel, I guess. But, um, you know, we have them, in the more, I guess, in the more mountainous areas and out west and stuff, but not, not so much in the east. At least not that I'm aware of. When I went down to Florida, there's a few through the Smoky Mountains down in Tennessee, but that was really about it. There may have been two short tunnels. Um, oh, got to make a left here. That 
kind of creeped up on me. All right, and we are almost here. <clears throat> Like we make a right. Yay, Bratislava discovered. Put our left turn signal. Oh, come on. Like there's a recruitment agency. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, these are the ones that we have to drive around behind. Okay, no problem. And let's see, all right. <clears throat> this one will be really easy. Just line ourselves up with the parking spot. Back up here. Of course, now it looks like I've spoken too soon as far as like the being easy part. Uh, I got out of alignment here. Alright, there we go. And level 10, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> um, let's see, what are we gonna do? Let's go with... Eco driving? No. Let's do fragile cargo again, all right. Once we get, once we start getting the really long drives, then the eco driving thing really kind of kicks in a lot more. All right, so now we'll have to turn around, and we'll go. We'll drive over to the hotel, and then we'll sleep, and then we'll just take a quick buzz. Well, let's see here. Let's take a quick buzz around the uh, yeah, the neighborhood. see here all right yeah why would you even drive down here I guess well all right well let's see we're just gonna drive up go around the block here down to the little repair shop Yeah. 
And I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing, but I'm just like trying to unlock this uh, street here. And I won't have a whole lot of... Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's get over to the hotel. The longest route possible. <laughs> or actually not over to the hotel. We'll just go straight over to the um, lot. And we'll sleep there. And then uh, get a repair. So yeah, let's see. Okay, we got 155,000. So let's see, we need 180 to upgrade our garage. However, we uh, are still going to want to get. Oh shit! As soon as I saw the speed limit, I was like, I need to slow down now. Bam. So now we have 154. <laughs> Uh, thousand. Um, yeah, that sucks. Um, I, and let's see. Oh, I still, I was just saying, I still wanted to upgrade my uh, engine first. Well, I guess actually I could do, eh, it doesn't really matter, honestly, um, whether I upgrade the engine or... Because honestly, I mean, it's not that huge of a deal right now. Let's see. I'm go to bed here. Okay, now it'll be daylight. All right. Okay, so service, first we need to repair, uh, let's go to the upgrade shop, Ooh, we can now get the dualies, that would be cool, um, yeah, see we can get the 700 horsepower, hey, what happened to my lights, upgrade shop, what the heck happened to my lights? I'm pretty sure I put lights up there before. Alright, so let's get to 700 horsepower. It's only going to cost us 9,828, so that's a pretty good buy. Alright, and... Um, yeah, the dualies is going to cost us a lot more, so let's hold off on that. I want to see, let's see, place, yeah, I just want to make sure we've got the right engine, which we do, all right, and then I want to check on one other thing, um, all right, so we still have money left to repay, <clears throat> Oh, and I guess the two, like the 2,887 that we pay every day isn't interest. It's actually part of the, the interest and principal of the loan, uh, which is good because I didn't really understand that previously. Um, I thought it was just the interest. So looks like, uh, you know, when we do make those daily, you know, purchases or not purchases, but payments, that it does actually pay the loan down. So, um, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know, is that a bridge? Or just like one of those towers? Uh, it looks more like a bridge with a tower, like a observation tower in between. So I'm just turning around here. Um, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around here a little bit, and we will uh, pick it up again in the next episode. Um, and maybe uh, you know we're gonna try to get a job where we can get enough uh, to 
let's see, we're at level 10. Maybe I'll take one job in between, and then I will um, uh, try to get us up to level, or not level 10, but we'll try to get us up to where we can actually purchase the first uh, shop upgrade. So, um, again, this is uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. I am Bradham73. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the videos. Uh, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, and we will see you in the next episode. I'm out for now, guys.